tracking your sales targets is vital for your business. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do exactly that inside of monday.com. So as you can see here, I'm in monday.com sales CRM. Now this works for both work management and Monday sales CRM. It's just, I happen to be here. Okay. And as you can see on the left-hand side, I've got my deals area. Um, and I want to be able to track targets on a month by month basis for the revenue generated as deals versus the target on a month by month. Okay. Sounds complicated, super simple, set a target on a month by month basis. Um, and then obviously we need to see what's actually closed one in that month. Now, important to note here that it's really, really simple to do this if you're just using one blanket target on a monthly basis. But a lot of businesses that we work with have different targets each month. So as an example, in January, it might be 20,000 as a target. In February, it might be 40,000 just because of the volume of inquiries and the data that they've had in the past. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to manage that. So first and foremost, what you need to do, obviously we have our deals present here. What we need to do is go ahead and create a new board. So press add item to workspace in the top left-hand corner and go ahead and create a new board. Now you're gonna to wanna to call this board targets. It doesn't matter if it's main or private and you might wanna change the naming convention to targets, okay? Once you're happy, just go ahead and press create board. So now we've gone ahead and created our targets board. You'll see here that I already have one. I'll come on to why in a moment. Um, but what we want to do is go ahead and literally delete everything from this board with the exception of the date column. So delete everything apart from the date column. And then we can go ahead and delete the secondary group as well. And then what I'm going to do is call this group targets. There we go. Um, and then this is our date for each target. And then what we want to do is just go ahead and add a numbers column as well. I'm going to set this numbers column, uh, customize numbers column, and just change this to the US dollar as well. So what we want to do is, as we're working on a month-by-month -month basis, by the way, this will work for quarters as well. I want to set the target. So I'm going to change this, tar change this column to name target. I'm going to set the target on a month-by-month -month basis. So the date. I need to set, let's say for January the 1st, and then I'm gonna call this item Jan 2024, okay? So Jan 2024, set the date as the first of each month, and then the target for that month. So in this instance, it's gonna be 25,000 US dollars. And then you need to go ahead and do the same for Feb. So Feb 2024, set the date as the first date of February, first day of February, um, and then go ahead and set the target. Let's say we said, what, 32,000? I think that seems reasonable. And keep going all the way through for each month. I'm not going to go through that in this video. I've already done this. So if I head over to my targets board here, I've already got this set up. I'm going to go ahead and just for the sake of this video, <laughs> delete the old one because we don't need it and I don't want to get confused. So now we've got Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, blah, 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 all the whole year. And I've got each date first, set first of Feb, first, ooh, I don't know what's happened here. Change this to March. Clearly wasn't paying attention. So I've got first to Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and my target for each month. Now, this is totally hypothetical data. Of course, it could be whatever you like. So those are our targets. So now I want to see how well my deals are closing against my targets in a graph view on a month by month basis. So we've got a couple of options to do that. What I'm going to do is go ahead to the plus button up the top here, add an item to workspace, and I'm going to create a new dashboard. Okay. So select that option. I'm going to call this targets dashboard just for the simplicity of this video you can have these graphs wherever you like then i'm going to go ahead and press create dashboard so now we need to make sure that we associate both the targets board and the deals board with this dashboard so just make sure you've selected both of those options and once you're happy press done and now we are one step closer to having a visual on our data and our targets so now we've got our targets dashboard we need to go ahead and add a widget so go ahead and press add widget and create a chart now, in this instance, what I want to do is a month by month basis of the sales versus our targets. So to do so, what we need to do is select the settings option on the three dotted button on the far right hand side of the chart, select settings. And then from here, we want to use a stacked line graph. OK, so go to the bottom down here and we need to select this option, stacked line graph. And then this is going to look really weird <laughs> until we've made our changes. So now we've got that done. We need to go to our X axis, which is our bottom axis. And then we need to go to one by one. So I'd recommend going to one by one. And then this needs to be set as close date on deals. 
So go to your date that is close date. If you do not have a close date for your deals, make sure you add one. And then for our targets, it just needs to be our, the date column, okay? So it's gonna continue to look very weird, but do not worry, we will rectify this situation soon. So the other important thing to note is what we group it by. So if you've created your targets on a quarterly basis, just change it to quarter. If you've got it on a monthly basis, change it to month. So we've got it set up as month, so Jan, Feb, March. If you did Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 in the targets area, which you can do, just make sure you select quarter. And then we've got week as well. So just make sure you've selected week if you've done a weekly target. I don't know how many people do a weekly target, but I'm not, I'm not going to ask any further questions around that. So once we've got that sorted, we then need to stack this by. So to stack it by, we want to go ahead and select the column and we're going to go ahead and stack it by board. So we're stacking it by the two different boards. Um, I know this may sound confusing, but just go with the flow here and just follow the instructions. So select board. Um, and then one very important thing to note do not skip past this, is select expanded stack mode. So this is going to separate our two boards. So select that option there. Now, you can probably tell this is still looking very weird, okay? We need to go to our Y axis, and then go to one by one. And then on the deals, we just need to select our deal value. And then on the targets, make sure you have the target option selected. And now you can probably see that this is looking slightly more normal, okay? So now we've got our Y axis taken care of. We don't need to worry about benchmark lines. Um, that's less complex for this video. On more settings, we've, we've got a, sh a few options here. This one I will come on to later in the video because it's quite cool. Um, and then we've got boards. We don't need to make any changes there. The only thing we do need to make sure we have unselected is active deals, okay? So we've unselected active deals. The reason being is we wanna see what our close was on a month by month basis, okay? So make sure you unselect active deals. So we've got close one and then we've got targets, okay? And those are our only two groups. So at the moment, all we can see is our targets, right? Um, and each month is gonna show our target and that is represented by the targets on here. 22,000, 26,000, 21,000 for the first three months of the year. So that's 21, 22, 26, and then 21. You can see how this is represented as a graph. Now, this isn't particularly helpful until we have data from our deals area. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to populate some information here. So example number two, enter, and then I'm going to set the deal value as 16, uh, let's say 22,000. And that was a close date in, I don't know, let's say the 17th of January. Then I'll add another one, example number three. Excuse me for rushing through this. Um, I just want to give you an example for the sake of the video. So let's go to Feb 12. It doesn't matter as long as it is in the month. Uh, example number four, I need to add a value to this. So let's say this was 16,000 um, and then this was 28,000. And then I'll set this as close date in March. So back in March, we close that. And then example number five. God, I wish it was this easy to, <laughs> to close deals, right? And then we'll put 35,000 for this month. And then let's say this was April, okay? And then I'll say we've just, it's the third, so we close that on Wednesday. So now let's head back to our targets dashboard. You can see how this data is populating. So you can see in January, we were, we were just on target. We we're exactly on target. In Feb, we were below, so we only closed 16,000, but our target was 26,000. In March, we smashed our target and we hit 28,000 and our target was only 21. And again, April, we have closed 35,000 in deals um, and it's only 18,000 at our target for this month. Now, do bear in mind that every single deal, so obviously... 35,000 was just one deal for this example. But if you've got 10 deals that equal to 35,000 that have closed in April, they'll just show just like this exactly the same. And you can see how this is working, right? So that's one option to view your um, targets, target versus actual. So I'll call this target versus actual versus actual for your sales. The alternative option is cumulative. Now, I prefer this view, to be honest with you. So what I would go ahead and do is literally three dotted button and just press duplicate. And then I'm going to go to the three dotted button, go to settings. And the only thing we want to change is go to more settings and select show cumulative data. Now, this is pretty cool. So this is going to show us our cumulative target on a month by month basis versus where we actually are. So you can see as of April, we are actually ahead of the curve. 
um, versus where our target is. But obviously this isn't gonna factor in month by month. So you can see if you let's say get to June and you're still stuck at 101,000 deals cumulative for the year, but your target is here, you know you're well, $35,000 off, but you might make one major sale in June, which rectifies everything and brings you above the target line. So hopefully this was pretty cool. Um, this is how to manage targets in monday.com. There's loads more to this um, and there's only so much I can show you in a video. But if you would like some more help setting up this stuff, check out the link below. We'd be delighted to help. Thank you ever so much for watching nonetheless and hopefully we'll see you soon. Goodbye.